I'm using three of the six strands in this DMC dark gray thread for the mountains in this scene. I have other tutorials on how to do this split stitch and how to create your knots at the beginning, but this will help you learn how to go from a straight line to learning to stitch an outline of an object. I make a little stitch here at the beginning and then I skip a stitch length and come up and then go back down into my previous stitch right in the middle, splitting that stitch in half. There are two ways to do the split stitch and this is technically the split back stitch because we're working backwards into the previous stitch. And normally when you do a split stitch, you use an even number of strands so that you're splitting it in half. So if you have four strands, you're splitting it two and two on either side of the needle. But for the mountain outline here, I want kind of a jaggedy look and for it to be slightly uneven. And so I'm splitting three strands, so it's not gonna split evenly and it'll give us more of that texture to the stitch. We're gonna continue that stitch into the portion where the photo would be so that you can make sure the photo covers it completely. Now I'm taking one strand of the same dark gray and doing a back stitch for the little veins and lines coming down from the mountains. So you come up and then back into the hole that your previous stitch ended on. So you skip a stitch length and then go back down into the previous hole. And you're gonna divide up your lines in small portions so that they also have that jaggedy look. And that's how we complete the mountains for this part of the project for our Instax photo frame.